Do I have to say I'm Kaylee? I just arrived in Canyon City, Colorado, where I will be staying at the Royal Gorge Ranch and Resort. They have an entire glamping setup of yurts, these huge colorful Actually, I have someone here that's gonna tell you a little bit more about that. It's Eric from Weatherport. <laughs> I'm Eric from Weatherport. I usually just, uh, talk about these structures, these yurts with people on the phone, and I've been doing it for like eight years. For my first time, I'm gonna actually like sleep in one. So not only are we checking out these yurts and staying in these yurts, but we are actually going to go whitewater rafting and zip lining. Right, we're gonna go check in. We're gonna like have to scurry on in there because it is uh, clearly flooding outside. That's a weather port hexapay right there. Not to be confused with a canopy that only has four sides to it. Our hexapay has six sides. There's a weather port. Another one. Right there. It's a 16 by 20 Jubilee right there. Get it. Oh, what's a good word just to describe them? Colorful, bright, happy. Are yurts? Yes. Oh, they're like futuristic space pods. The future of cabins. So if you guys wanted to propane or anything like that, we do have these phone numbers here for you guys to call. The first call you guys are going to make is going to be our facilities manager, Chainsaw Dave. Super cool guy, not scary at all, promise. Chainsaw Dave. <laughs> um, but he'll come out, he'll come out 1 a.m., you know, whatever, 5 a.m., whatever you guys He'll be outside at 1 a.m. and 5 a.m.? If you call him, he will. Oh, okay. Be, yeah, if we call him. Yeah. <laughs> Chainsaw Dave is always outside of our gym. <laughs> okay, yeah, sorry. Yeah. I feel safe. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, I... 20% thought this whole place was just photoshopped, you know what I mean? Now that I'm here, it's crazy. Jeremy told us it rains here. He, he said it rains like this, like pouring, dumping, flash flood warning, once Whoa. every three years. <laughs> we turned on our heater too. Set it a whopping 75 degrees, so we're really putting this insulation to the test. It's already kind of warming up in here. Right. Guys, we're straight up stuck in our yurt. That's the bonfire tonight. <laughs> Tune in for me and Eric roasting s'mores on our bonfire tonight. I'm bummed. So we are staying in Green Willow. I think it's my favorite one here. Eric is staying in Tan Bighorn. And there's a really pretty pink one that I want to show you, but let's look at all the ones on the way. Red Canyon. Gray granite. Purple columbine. Ooh, lime moss is, lime moss is cool. And here we have pink rose. If you ever stay the night in a Weatherport yurt, this is what your nightly routine should look like. My weather port. Where are we going, Eric? We're gonna go whitewater rafting! Yee! Woo! Is it gonna be safe for us to go today? <laughs> With all the rain? Here we go! Oh. Also, we have to switch to the GoPro now because this little guy can't get wet, so transition.
with the gun. Some tea. He brewed it himself. I wanted to give you guys the full experience because you guys are so amazing and I wanted you guys to know that you're so amazing. Cheers! Hey. Actual worth hypothermia. It's worth it. Look at him. Look at these doggies. <laughs> okay, actually, there were probably three times where I thought I was, I was like, I was gone. I'm out. With the waves? Yes. I actually almost fell out of the raft, <laughs> but Alan like swooped in with his paddle. Did you feel me push you back into the boat, Eric? Yeah, I did. <laughs> was I you? I'm actually gonna slide out, mm. but he saved me. Um, but yeah, I'm actually starving now. Yeah, I'm hungry. Yeah, all that paddling. Should okay, we... signing out. Whitewater Bar and Grill, baby. This is home of the best food. They have a, they have a hex to pay. Uh -huh. They have a weather port structure. We love that. Eric's on his way back from the bathroom and we're gonna prank him so hard by pretending that we're Chainsaw Dan. We're here, zip lining. We're gonna do it. It's a beautiful day out. Kind of perfect. We got whitewater rafting in the rain yesterday, so that was its own adventure. Beautiful, beautiful adventure. And then we got lucky today because now we're gonna be zip lining in the sun. I forgot sunscreen, but. Oh. I got you. Oh. I got sunscreen. Good sunscreen too. Oh, not sponsored. <laughs> show you. <laughs> Well, we found a, a potential opportunity canopy requirement here. Um, I'm gonna say it's a 10 by 10 or a 12 by 12. I feel like it's more of a 12 by 12 um, hexapade canopy <laughs> purple edition. Oh! Oh, Airplane. oh. oh my god! <laughs> Bucket. We get a prize. We get in the barrel. We'll re zip lining forever. <laughs> All right, Eric and I are about to race. Who do you think's gonna win? Kaylee <laughs> won, which means that uh, Kaylee gets to jump off this. Without a heart. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I love weather boys! <laughs> Alright, yeah. On our way back to the yurts. Haley! Beach day! Hey, I brought some stuff. Let's get let's do it! Dave, yeah, we're having trouble with our propane tank for the fire pit. Is there any way that you could come look at it? Absolutely, I'll be there in just a Okay, awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. You know what he said? Absolutely. Absolutely. Chainsaw. The legend exists. The legend. Giant erector shot. 
not hard at all. There's something. I've built homes and this is nothing. Yeah. It takes this three to five days. Well, what kind of feedback have you heard from just customers about the about staying in the yard? It's any love good or bad feedback? They or? love them. Yeah? Absolutely love them. The thing that I like about it is the way they build. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it's simple. It's a giant erector set. Where's your chainsaw? In my shop. You go to what? Oh, nice. Thank you. It was you very nice so to meet you. Yes, yes. Very nice to meet you. Uh, <laughs> this, I have decided after our, this is our third night at the campground. Yellow here, it's my favorite. What solutions are weather port fixing? Because it's a very expensive solution. The solution that we're fixing is having like the fastest house that you can set up that can be left up for 30 years or could be taken down just as fast and moved and then set back up again, you know, in a, in a day or two. These yurts are probably gonna stay in one place for 20 plus years. That's what the, we designed them for compared to just a building a house or a tiny home that could take literally months. A whole crew of like construction workers. Right. Don't take my word for it, Kaylee. Go find some more weather ports. Figure out why other people are using them. I wanna know. That is uh, a very good point, Eric. Uh, like and subscribe so they send me to Valdez, Alaska. So we have like USDA choice beef eye thin cut. Buy one, get one free. You got the discount. <laughs> the black All right, thing so I had to move out of that yurt today, but I moved into this one, but I get to have a sleepover with Eric. Yo, I call Top Bunk. <laughs> Good night. Good night, Kaylee. Good night, Eric. I smell coffee. That's it, trip's over. One so last sad. paddle smack. Yeah, paddle smack. Thanks for letting me join this like Weatherport venture, Kaylee. Don't think me, think Weatherport. Thank you, Weatherport. Thanks, Weatherport. And like and subscribe so they can send me and Eric to Greenland, Iceland, Sydney, Alaska, South Chile, Nepal, everywhere. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>